night, we are on the hunt for turtles. Still ponds, like the one behind me, are perfect habitat for a number of turtle species here in Florida. And searching for them at night is absolutely perfect, because a lot of turtle species will already be asleep at this hour. So we're going to be shining the edge of this pond, seeing if we can get our hand on one. Oh my god! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Got it! Oh, no way. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm so wet, and I don't care! Three-striped mud turtle! Are you kidding me? Are that you kidding me? Is awesome. I don't believe it. That was not expected at all. Not at all. Let's go. This is the striped mud turtle, sometimes called the three striped mud turtle, because if you take a look at his carapace there, can you see those three lines? Yep. That is absolutely characteristic of this species and makes them easily identifiable. As soon as I spotted this guy in the pond, I knew exactly what I was looking at, and I was ecstatic because this is the first one we have ever caught. Now, this species is primarily diurnal, so we were kind of a bit confused when we first pulled him out what he was doing out here. There's a chance that he was looking for some invertebrates. These guys are omnivorous feeders, which means that they eat both plants and animal material. So he could have been browsing on some of the invertebrates that move around at night. He could also be taking some of the plant material, the aquatic grasses that are in the pond. But at any rate, we are so happy to have a three-stripe mud turtle in hand because this is one fascinating turtle that we've never gotten to show you before. Now this guy may look a little small in hand, but this is actually about as large as this species will get. They grow to a maximum of 12 centimeters, making him one of the smallest turtles in the state of Florida. And as you can see, he's coming out of his shell to say hello now, and he is absolutely adorable. Now even though we found this guy in the pond tonight, striped mud turtles are unique in that they'll spend more time on land than other semi-aquatic turtle species. So he's perfectly comfortable sitting up here on the bank with us tonight. All right, it's time to get this guy back in the pond for the night. Off you go, buddy. We are stoked that our strategy worked and we were able to turn up that beautiful striped mud turtle. We could not have asked for a better way to get our lifer. If you want to learn about another fascinating turtle species, be sure to go back and check out the time we encountered the unique Peninsula Cooter. And with that, we hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.